Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Shane Ski and today we are back with another video. I know this is my typical style of video. I'm playing Search and Destroy or some sort of multiplayer as usual. But as you know, if you are a sub, I'm going for Dark Matter in this game. So I thought along the way I would make some uh, update videos along with guides that could help you guys get gold weapons faster and just some tips that help me actually do this. Currently I have my RPG gold and today I'll be finishing my Sigma. I just need double kills with that and then I will have diamond launchers so I'll make another video once I get that. The Sigma and the RPG are very similar so if you want me to make a specific uh, Sigma video also just let me know down in the comments and I will. But anyway I'm gonna go over a bunch of things today. I'll have everything uh, down in the description with timestamps so if you want to just like skip to a certain part if that's what you need help on I totally understand. But anyway, before we get into it, drop a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let's start. So before we start anything, I would suggest trying to level up your RPG as high as possible before even going for camos, before getting kills with this thing, because some of the camos in this uh, RPG overlap each other, which could help make the process a lot faster. For example, get... 25 equipment score streaks or vehicle kills or destroy them in multiplayer that also could count towards destroy 25 ground based score streaks destroy 25 aerial score streaks or even destroy three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game 10 times they overlap each other so if you're doing these challenges once you have everything unlocked it will make it a lot quicker since you won't have to restart for example what happened to me was i did this challenge right but i didn't have my thing all the way leveled up till this so i could have had this camo done already by the time i unlocked it but i didn't do that i did it with my sigma but not this so what i did was i went into zombies pack punch my rpg pack punch my sigma just trained with my friends you know till like round 30 kept killing all the hordes and stuff and then restarted or um you can go into dirty bomb and you can also go play that because it does give five times the amount of xp however there is armor in that mode, so it may be a little bit more difficult to uh, kill people with an RPG, especially since if they have flak jacket on, it doesn't do anything. So what I did, just hop in some zombies, play to like round 30, pack a punch, your RPG and Sigma. They're not too bad, and uh, you'll level it up pretty fast. So now getting to the actual class set that's going to help you, you know, level everything up. I just had a Tundra because I was leveling this up, uh, waiting for streaks and everything down. Um... This stuff doesn't really matter, however, you do want to have an assault pack as your field upgrade, so when you do run out of ammo, you can just pick some more up and shoot at the streaks. Uh, you're going to want to have engineer, because you'll be able to see all the score streaks and equipment through the map as like red outlines, so it makes it a lot easier to know where stuff is. Um, as far as anything else, doesn't really matter. Uh, you might want to run scavenger and gearhead is also a good suggestion, since gearhead will give you more, uh, you'll give you your your assault pack faster and you'll be able to carry two of them and the scavenger you'll be able to pick up ammo from players you kill or players your teammates kill and then i was running ghost and cold-blooded to stay off of the you know map from those score streaks so they can't kill you when you're shooting them down um, you're gonna need perk greed obviously to run all of that stuff so now i'm just gonna go into individual camos and just kind of go over some tips and what helped me get these done um, get 50 eliminations is pretty straightforward. You can go into multiplayer or hardcore. Um, unfortunately, Flak Jacket is ridiculous in this game. So what I was doing was if you have the ability to punch somebody with the RPG, it still counts as XB and a kill towards your RPG. And you won't have to worry about shooting three rockets into them if they have Flak Jacket. Yeah, that's right. If they have flak jacket on, it takes three rockets to kill them, which is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't matter if it's in core or hardcore. Um, the flak jacket of that is absolutely broken. Um, this one, straightforward again. If you have uh, engineer on, you can destroy all the field mics with this thing, all the trophy systems, U uh, UAVs, care packages. Anything that you can shoot with this thing will count towards this challenge. Um, you can even punch them, like I said, if you want. If you just crouch and then punch the field mic or whatever, you'll also get credit for this challenge. This one takes a little bit of time, especially because of Flak Jacket being broken. Um, personally, I tried doing this in hardcore because I thought it would be a little bit easier, but it really isn't because you'll just get shot across the map from people camping. So I went into core, 
And basically what I was trying to do was I was just spawn camping on Nuketown and punching people and then shooting them with the rocket. Uh, this took me about an hour or two to complete just because I get like one or two kills and then I die and then you lose your progress. So this one's a little bit frustrating. It takes a little bit of time. So that one you just kind of just got to deal with it. Um, this one is pretty easy. It takes a little bit of time also because not many people use ground-based score streaks or vehicles. However, if you do go into cross or not crossword, um, combined arms, people will be riding on the boats, riding on the snowmobiles or the motorcycles. And if you shoot those, those will also count towards uh, this uh, camo. Um, luckily for the RPG, you don't need as many uh, kills with this thing or destroys with this thing as the Sigma. However, you can't lock on, so you do really have to be precise when um, shooting this thing. You can also destroy, like, sentry guns and RC cars if you're lucky enough for somebody be, to be using those on the other team. However, it's really uncommon. But if you do get the chance, make sure to destroy those and take advantage towards this streak. Um, this one, I know it seems really simple, but unfortunately, the hit recognition in this game is garbage. And... Uh, it's really hard to shoot UAVs down, especially um, if there's a lot of them and you just run out of ammo really fast. So what I did was a lot of people run care package in this game. If you wait till the care package is right before it's about to be dropped, the, th the little care package craft will hover in the same spot and you'll be able to just shoot the rocket at it and then you'll get credit for this. You can destroy UAVs, but it is very hard. I don't really know how to describe like the distance you need to shoot in front of it because it's always changing. If you have the assault pack, you can just keep shooting rockets. It's basically just a trial and error. Um, this one's really frustrating, but believe me, you'll get it done. Um, you can also shoot down like the helicopters and stuff like that, but those do take three rockets each, so you got to make sure you uh, know how to lead them and actually take advantage of when those streaks are being called in um, this one also a little bit frustrating but if you do go into combined arms again and you just destroy like the vehicles and stuff you can easily destroy like three vehicles in one game and since those games take like 20 minutes each they also stack so if you destroy six vehicles you'll get two credits for this and yeah you just got to keep going in take your time unless you are absolutely insane at shooting UAVs down with the RPG uh, this, this will most likely take you about an hour just because people don't always go on those motorcycles or whatever. It's kind of just lucky. The thing that sucks about RPGs is a lot of the camos are reliant on what your enemy does, which sucks, but you just got to deal with it. And then finally, this was the most annoying one. It's so, so straightforward. Get kill two or more enemies rapidly 25 times. The problem is... I've seen people's videos, they say, just go play Domination, right? Go camp the flags, right? The problem is, with the RPG, it is not a one-shot kill, even if they don't have flak jacket on. You have to direct impact them. Unless they are already weak, the blast radius from it hitting the ground will not kill them. So you have to direct impact them, or you have to, they already have to be weak. So what I did was go into core because hardcore is way too hard I, I know it sounds stupid but the problem is flak jacket it works in hardcore so everybody's running it and it's almost impossible to get a kill by just shooting this thing so what I did was I'd go on nuketown I would try and punch somebody to death and then right away look for an enemy to shoot with this thing and hopefully you can get two kills really fast or if you're lucky enough and you find two guys sitting next to each other you can shoot the rpg and punch both of them really quick um, this one takes a, a long time which was very annoying it just really depends on what your enemies are doing if they're running flak jacket if you join a game and everybody has flak jacket on you're shooting rpgs and you're just not getting any kills just back out just find a new lobby because it's way too hard to do it when half the team's running flak jacket luckily nuketown is in so it makes it a little bit easier but either way it still takes a long time and then finally, once you do all that stuff, you know, you get gold camo. Anyway, I think I went over everything. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. Um, if you want me to make another video on the Sigma, going over those, 
uh, challenges and some other strategies I used to get that gold. Um, let me know. As you can see, I'll show you right now. All I need to do is four more of these rapid two kills, so I'll have that done today. And then I'll probably make another video within the week of, uh, you know, going over diamond RPGs and stuff like that. But anyway, if you are new, make sure to check out some of my other videos. Uh, I play Search and Destroy, and I think I'm pretty good. Uh, I just got a 28 kill game, so check that out. Anyway, if you are new, drop a like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one. Later. Thank you.